So you've heard about insulin resistance, but what exactly is it? Insulin resistance is a condition in which your cells become less sensitive to insulin, meaning they're less able to take in sugar and create energy. That's because insulin is a hormone that acts like a messenger. It knocks on the door of your cell and lets it know, hey, there's some sugar around for you to use to create energy. Ideally, your cells only hear from insulin a few times a day, like when we eat a meal. And it doesn't hear from too many insulin hormones at once. We want just a bit, enough to get the doors to open, and then we want insulin to go away. Otherwise, our cells can get tired of hearing from insulin and they may stop answering the knocks at the door. When that happens, our cells don't take in sugar like they're supposed to, and tons of sugar stay in our bloodstream. That's not good because when there's too much sugar in our bloodstream, it can affect things like blood flow to our extremities and our eyes, and can lead to disorders of metabolism and can put you at risk for several chronic diseases. But never fear, if you've been diagnosed with insulin resistance, you do not have to end up with type 2 diabetes. You can reverse insulin resistance using natural methods like increasing fiber intake, increasing the amount of exercise you get. So how do you know if you have insulin resistance? There's a couple ways to find out. A simple way to test is something called a hemoglobin A1C. That's a three month snapshot of your average blood sugar. We do this by looking at red blood cells and seeing how covered in sugar they are. I like to say if your red blood cells are cornflakes, we're looking at how frosted are your flakes. Ideally, we don't want a ton of the surface of your red blood cells to be covered in sugar. We want that number under 6%. When A1C rises above that level, 6.5 or above, someone is diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Before that, when the level is between 5.7 and 6.4, it's considered insulin resistant. There are other ways that you can measure whether or not you're insulin resistant. You can do a fasting insulin or a HOMA IR score, which combines a fasting insulin and a fasting plasma glucose in a calculation that will tell you if you're insulin resistant. If the number is above 2.9, that's considered significant insulin resistance. Your doctor could help you make this calculation. The last way is something called an oral glucose tolerance test. In this test, you're given a sugary mixture to drink and your blood glucose is tested routinely over the next few hours. If it rises too high, too fast, you can be diagnosed with insulin resistance. Luckily, if you're diagnosed with insulin resistance, there are so many things you can do to reverse it. Some of the therapeutic lifestyle interventions that have been proven to help to reverse insulin resistance include things like increasing the amount of exercise you get per week, even if only by a few minutes per day. One study called the prevention of type 2 diabetes mellitus by changes in lifestyle among subjects with impaired glucose tolerance followed over 500 people they found that when people decreased the amount of fat that they ate in their diet, increased the amount of fiber and physical activity they got, and reduced a little bit of their body weight, they were able to completely reverse their insulin resistance and avoid type 2 diabetes. This is brilliant news, and so if you're thinking, how do I apply this in my life? You could work with a registered dietitian or someone who's a nutrition expert. There may even be someone in your primary care office who can help you with this. You can chat with your doctor about your options and they will always be able to help you design a plan that's custom made for you. No matter what, you should always feel hopeful. You can take your health back in your own hands through testing and therapeutic lifestyle interventions. You do not have to have insulin resistance be your story. And please make sure to like and subscribe for more videos on health and wellness and to learn about the cutting edge of root cause medicine.